watching the world burn. But you know what? He's sitting. He's watching the world burn from a pedestal. He's just like, ah, 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 fight as you will. Jukum ah, 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 sent Shadowcat to the losers bracket. He sent Mutator to the losers bracket. Both of them will want the run back. Will want the run back. They'll be thirsty for this. But Wise, last year's champion, yes. he will at least get third place. Hey, we're gonna find out here. Yes, and now he's gonna fight to go further, and Jukum has forgot his phone <laughs> on the stage. You know, I understand, man. When you're so hyped and so into it, sometimes yeah, you forget. Well, that I kind of actually off. forgot my headphones up there. <laughs> 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 I just realized it. <laughs> uh, see, I remember mine. I remember mine. <laughs> All right, my bad, guys. You know, you, bro, I was, I was super into it, you know? Uh, all right, I believe this is Wise's screen, picking what support he would go against yeah, that is Wise's uh, Shadow screen. Cat. Uh, this is yeah. actually a pretty hard decision right now. You know, there is Septile, uh, Septile from Wise, but again, I think he actually does play uh, a bit of secondaries that acts that he's put put some time. I in. don't really think he'd go secondaries because he played against Slice, and I'm like, that is a terrible matchup. But he stuck to his guns and kept with the Septile despite the bad matchup and went into it. Now I was thinking that. Shadowcat was going to pull out the Brixen, but no, going with yeah, the Darkrai. Yeah, going with the Darkrai, wow. And Brixen, I also know, does pretty strong against Sceptile. Darkrai, you're the Darkrai expert, I'll leave that to you. If anything, I do not like this matchup too much. Again, it's not that bad, but Sceptile has very nice tools that can actually deal with... Uh... What? Did he just clone Explosion and then get a clone? All right, I'm pretty surprised by that. Okay, so we're going into this first round. No BDR from... Shadowcat, never mind. You know, I'll yeah, take that yeah, back. Yeah, you say, yeah, commentator's curse. Anything has to happen. But right now, feeling under pressure. 2 Y, 2 X. AX, that actually worked. Yes, that's actually but a thing. There is a small gap. Not a small gap enough to actually press a button or normal button in between. But it is enough to jump or at least to have a high profiling uh, go over it. I'm just surprised of all the high profile moves that hit it with Septile's AX. But now, Shadowcat fighting back with this big combo, going for the reset, what we like to see. And put on more pressure. And nice. Almost had to punish on that uh, detect. But oh, why? why escaping? Yeah, we're dancing around. Both players are dancing. And but gotta Victory gonna dance. mess. Dance of avoidance. Who's gonna get hit first? Right now, this is pretty even. But I think Shadowcat does have a slight advantage in BDR. And he's gonna fight back. And this Activate. is gonna be a rough That's reset. Right. Chip. 60 damage to Chip. And dash behind him, that was Shadow Clone in your face, you've got to respect that, but no, we don't wow. respect that. We don't respect the, sh like the Shadow Clone in the cry. We just grab him. <laughs> we just grab him. All right. So, wow, nice. Using the invincibility of the clone. Yeah, watch the timer, bro. Shadow Cat going for the, taking the bow, getting the timer, but the dash up through. Will this do enough? Yes, it, it does. Will. The HP recovery, nice. The HP recovery plus the damage did bring that out to Wise. Shadowcat nearly took that with the bow to get the HP buff and off, but not quite enough. And flash kick not quite hitting, and we're just zoning. Yeah, right now, why? Just making sure he doesn't get caught, doesn't want to get touched. He wants to find his way in carefully. Yeah, can't afford to be too reckless against Dark Ride Post, especially with Shadow Clones and back Y, but we're going to catch him with the back X and get a Bad Dreams Rising. That reached from downtown, the whip on that Leaf Blade, and Shadow Cat getting BDR, pressuring with the 2Y and 2Xs, but again, Y's 8Xing over the 2X. Yeah, that 8X is somehow coming into clutch. Very slow AX that doesn't normally work against most lows, but it's coming into handy now. Right. You know what? Shadowcat trying to get rid of these debuffs, probably. Trying to throw as many things as he can. All the projectiles, everything but the kitchen sink. Yeah, we're getting a little, we were getting a little close there, but now more traps are coming out. Another bow getting rid of those debuffs and powering himself up. Right. And again, like we saw earlier, nice slow pace. Try to catch him back dashing, but he commits to the CA. And, and an then immediate grab. He wants to keep the advantage. You want to make sure that Shadowcat is the one who's on the back foot. And setting up a guardian, setting up everything. Man, can I have a salad, please? <laughs> yeah, like, Shadowcat does not want to take those setups. He's going in, and that whiffed GX, that is going to be an easy. I see some bad dreams rising and as Shadowcat fights back. And bad dreams, with bad dreams, there's going to be a nightmare. That's Shadowcat right now with the burst activation on reaction. Yeah, Darkrai's burst in BDR is invincible frame one, so we don't care about your Volga, and even if it was, then we still This is going to do a large amount of damage. If some of you guys did not know, while BDR is happening and Darkrai is in burst, there is extra damage done. While, oh, and that's yeah, the kill! Yeah, it catches with the back X! There was only a few seconds left on the clock. Wise was probably a little desperate there, and 
Low X, a little panic, he got caught with that back X, and now we're fighting back. These two competitors going tick for tack in the neutral. Again, both of them just holding it down in field. Both of these fields are very, very good. But right now, uh, Shadow Cat having the HP lead. Getting a little bit of damage here and there, and that's all that matters. Yeah, but Shadow Cat's gonna have to fight back to get his burst. He's probably gonna wanna have it, especially since Wise has his and is gonna need it. He does have Magikarp on deck, but I'm pretty sure he does wanna save it just in case in dual phase when he does get BDR. Yeah, cause right now it's not very useful unless you want to stop a flash kick or a leaf blade. But speaking of which. Going with charge. I think this yeah, will it's gonna actually hit. yes, it will break the nasty plan. Alright, Shadow Cat without nightmare. In the corner with, the garden. with little burst. This is a pretty rough position for Shadow Cat, but he can probably fight out of it. And we're fighting. We're fighting out of it. JYX, JYX AA. I meant said JYA, sorry. Ooh. Oh, the cancel! He did react to it for a slight second, but he was too slow because he was unsure. And back in the corner, you go. Yes, back in the corner with the defense V-buff. As it's in the garden, in. and that was a rough setup with the traps behind him. Yes. Shadow Cat in a very bad position, got no burst, there's barely any time left, and his health is low. Jump? Oh, that's not a jump that you can use that for. But you know what? Setting up the... Oh, we're uh, pushing through those traps. All right, activating burst. No this is a very, very hard position for Shadow Cat. That is not going to do it, and the timer is going to run out. Yeah, pretty much Wise just can just sit here and just block. And it does not matter. Game one. That was a long game one. Yeah, long, long game one. Wise. And. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Wise feeling himself a bit, knowing that you know he's he's having fun. He's having fun. He has that great smile. But you know what? Again, don't turn that smile into a frown. Yeah, but Shadow Cat is the sort of player who can turn that smile into a frown. So we'll go into the next game and see what we can do. But it looks like we're getting a support change. Uh, he hovered over Jirachi for a second, and my heart leaped. Now, see, at this very moment. Uh, the question is, is Shadow Cat going to switch? But the weird thing is, Shadow Cat didn't do that bad. Even though yes. the matchup might be slightly in Satal's favor, Shadow Cat was actually able to find, you know, these little openings that allowed him to take advantage. But again, Septile having such great mobility, such great jumps, such great cancels, that it was kind of getting into a slow pace for him. And do we do see the switch. He does want to be able to, when he takes advantage, he wants to make sure that advantage stays. And that's something Brakeson can do. But what's most important is the support choice. Yep, as that's the know, support choice. Support's as important as your main choice when picking. And we're going with the token because we want to be fast. Oh my gosh, we want to be fast. We want to make sure we deal with this Amolga. We're either going to be normal speed or we're going faster than light can see. Yeah, and that does get, and with a token has boost, you do get easier with punishes and because you can move faster, get into position. So, solid choice from Shadow Cat. That's not going to be a punish. All right. Again, like you saw earlier, take that's, attack in field. That's not a punish. It was forward, halfway a punish. <laughs> forward Y, forward Y minus A. It's always interesting to me to see what the breaks does after the forward Y. And here we finally have an interaction. Why is getting a grab, shifting the phase, passing forward in the immediate flamethrower? Did you know? It breaks in very diverse. And that was a high lead seat to avoid a flare, uh, the fire blast. Doesn't want to take any chip whatsoever. Pushing him back further and further to the corner. And we're playing a neutral game right now. Brixen is very diverse in how she can play. And we're just going to reset back to field. And that will give him a buff and he can actually get a sunny day. So that's two buffs. I'm going to pop the token kiss first. Oh, I actually thought he was going to get two buffs there. Yeah, you know, the same. Cheer, the cheer uh, off of the grab and then going it off. But you You're know what? You're in Kick, kick, coo. All right. Going to take chip. Shadow Cat. Oh. Trying to jump immediately on in reaction. Uh, but sadly, he's going to get stuffed out. Okay, one more rage because Shadow Cat's got good health. And this is going to deal a lot of damage. It's pretty much too late. Yeah, it's too late. But Shadow Cat, unfortunately guessing wrong, went for the 4X on the counter. And why? just got the read, got the counter, and got him. Now we're going into the next round. Shadowcat has his Togekiss on deck, and it's already popped. Right. Again, like we saw earlier, dancing around in neutral. Okay, it's going to be Very wise. nice spacing on that counter, making it whiff. CA wasn't a fully charged one, so we won't get a combo off of it. Where you will be allowed to set up. Light screen to delete the garden. I like that. Okay. And the zoning not quite working. Watch out for that leech behind you. Oh my god, fully charged 5x, but we're 2+. plus. Yeah, thanks to the leech seed and Whoa. pressing light screen a little too hard there. All right, we're gonna and take a now, lot of chip here. And we're trapped. They're just going for an auto combo. And oh my ooh, god, that was a very nice Giga Drain dodge. All 
All right, and right now it's just going tick for tack. They both of these players are just finding their little small nick. Uh, yeah, and as you mentioned, damage. Shadowcat had that deep that speed down, but popped the token gets to get rid of it. And now the speed down is a win. He's got full speed again. All right, the health deficits aren't too far right now. They're still trying to find. Uh, their tried ways to web punish, but not quite. Right. Wait, what's the max? And off of the grab, off of the plus frames of that boomerang is uh, Shadowcat taking advantage, sitting at a large health lead. Oh, that's gonna hit. And that nice, confirm. Shadowcat finding the round. Right there, again, it's just, it's like, who's gonna get that first hit? Who's gonna get that act actual damage that's going to matter? Because whoever does, it's gonna be a hard road to catch up. Especially yeah. with both of these characters being able to deal so much chip. I think what makes that easier for Shadowcat is that Togekiss, because he can just maneuver around and match Septile's fast speed, but the 5x, you're getting backhanded in the face, and we're going into a full combo plus the Morga. We're getting rid of that speed boost. Yes. And with the defense decrease as well, he lost the speed boost completely. Oh my god, a crit! That's gonna hurt a lot. Is he gonna actually shift phase? No, he's not. He says, yo, you're gonna be here. Shadowcat gonna pop first. No reading! Nice reaction on the gig, uh, on the Giga Drain. Oh my god, it wasn't right the one. Okay, you're in the corner. There's the light screen. Enhanced light screen being uh Oh that I think that's gonna be safe. I think he can block. Yep. Again, moving around, setting There's up the your garden. garden. But in burst two boo side beams and that's gonna get rid of the garden, get caught again with the backhand. And here again, defense debuff. Wanted to reset him again. Defense debuff with the slow debuff. Yo, you're just gonna <laughs> This is just this, this is just painful at this point. Shadowcat can get rid of those, that speed debuff if he can get that Togekiss popped safely. He doesn't want to be too reckless with it. Okay. And we'll pop that safely. We're all right good. And it gives the slight health boost, which is going to be useful, but reacting to that back Y with the Leaf Blade, and Wise is going to take the sec second game. And right there, we saw that, again, when you get that health lead, and then you, especially when you're against Sceptile, oh my god, if you go for those resets, uh, defense debuff. Again, using a Molga. You can't leave this corner. You're yeah. not going anywhere. And especially that, it's going to get a hard time going past the Leech Seeds and the Bullet Seeds. That's exactly what a Molga is doing. You're going to be very slow. And by the time that you're trying to walk out of the corner, you can't. You're either stuck between a Grass and a Sceptile in your face. Yeah, you don't want to be that. And we went back to the Select screen. I have a feeling that with Shadowcat going to change up his support again, maybe talking against it's not working. I think what he needs is, as you said, a way to get out of that corner. He needs a support to help him get out of that corner. That could be exactly what he's thinking right now, but yeah. he, he has, has to find an answer here. He has some options, nine tails, number one can keep him back, but we know that Brixen's probably the only character that can make Celebi work. So maybe he's gonna use that Celebi. I don't know. When, when you activate Celebi, you're talking about someone who has a long distance command grab. I don't think you wanna do that. Oh! But you're gonna what? do what? You're gonna do what? Is this a dream? But Did you know I what? Not it's not up? so much of a dream. If you guys actually remember, Shadowcat's third character for it's Worlds Sceptile. was Sceptile. Yeah, and I have played the Sceptile, and with both same character, same support. You know what? I guess he says, if you can't beat him, join him. And if that means join him, it means taking your character. All right, but like... We, we're like dancing we're around. Like we're dancing around. Yeah, I think Shadowcat's saying, hey, you think you're annoying me with your garden? Wait till you see mine. <laughs> Then you'll realize how annoying it is. And nice anti-air CA. Right now, we're just seeing... Uh, and that's the thing about Septile. You cannot tell whose traps are who until they pop. Wise's will be orange and Shadowcats will be blue, but they don't have that until they drop. And I know they're going pretty fast right now, but if you need to tell... Oh, dash into it. The uh, purple one is Wise, while the green one is Shadowcat. Yeah, I was, I was trying to figure out that myself. <laughs> But nice, catching the back dash. That is not safe! It, and it's gonna be a punish for it. All right, nice wall splat. My man Wise is like, yo, you're gonna you're gonna play me with my character? All right. And we're countering. Wise fighting back. Shadowcat fighting back up, getting them confused. Oh my gosh, look at this. Shadowcat with the stagger is trying to push him back. Both Giga Drain at the what? Same Yo, Could it's a footsie game! <laughs> yo! And getting the backhand on the GX whiff and Shadowcat should take this round thanks to the timer. Only six seconds left. Sitting at the chip, he's practically gonna time him out. Yeah. And he actually gets the round instead. Shadowcat showing that he does know how to play this character. Yeah, very strong with the Sceptile. Again, I have played the character before. He's very strong with the character, but I'm just 
just a base. I'm just faces. appalled and amazed. Shadowcat showing that he has what it takes oh. to actually use this character. But you know what? Wise trying to make a statement. Okay, before we thought the wall splat was coming and. Oh, uh, proof. That's, that setup kind of always like mixes me up. I'm like, yo, but then the wall Giga Drain. Grab him in the corner. Uh, Again, a Giga Drain. Why? It's like, it's like you. Re <laughs> okay, to all the robots who say Giga Drain is reactable, I read you this game. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It's going to be Shadow Cat taking advantage. Plus. And yeah, plus 8Y. Very nice. And Wise was out of a corner, so he's popping that and gets the confirm on the 5Y. And gets a full damage combo, going to max, making sure he gets the setup. Leaf blade, nice. I see your leaf blade. That'll and raise, raise you another. One. And the oh. hard reads on the grab, gonna get a full damage combo. No, oh, he wants a drop set. Uh, not sure if that was reset or drop, but that should. And nice recognition from Shadow Cat. Oh, oh my gosh, he's gonna get a hard combo. He can reset the damage here, but doesn't do it. Yeah, he's taking the shift and got traps coming out. This is amazing. Shadow Cat showing that he could compete with one of the, or probably arguably one of the best subtitles that could be. Yeah, right up there with Jukum. So, we're sorting him out. I think he's going to go for the timer again. He's got the burst. He can pop it when he's threatened, like now. And now he can just time out. Yeah, and that's the sad part. With this slow debuff on, he can barely make it over. It's so sad to see Sceptile, one of the fastest characters in the game, get slowed down by a Mulga, and then what? You can't even approach. Yeah, for just to crawl now. I surely think that Wise is just going to stick to Perceptile. He's not going to change characters. So we're probably going to see Sceptile Dettos for the rest of the set. This is the crazy part. Shadow Cat pulling out the Sceptile. Not even breaks, not even staying breaks in. Not even going back to the Dark Eye. He's like, yo, I'm going to play you at your own game. And yeah. you know what? It's working. Able to take a game off of Shadow Cat. Off I mean, sorry, nice. off of Wise. That's sorry. okay. We're all good. Catching some with the Flash Kick. And that was a Giga Drain attempt. Watch that trap. Watch out for that trap. But anyway, yo, Septile has springs on his feet. <laughs> Over all these jumps. And now we're seeing classic move from Septile. What do you expect? Plus frames off of the bullet seed. But tries to throw for the JY into the Giga Drain, but we see that coming and we just we use another JY. Yeah, why? It's being more recognizable towards these Giga Rings. He's like, alright, alright, you had your fun. But you know what? This time, you're not gonna do it. That's again. gonna be in the Moga Punish! But not going to be able to convert the speed drop again, slowing him down. And this time, Wise, not blocking. Probably tried to do something else. Yeah, and... Oh! That character did not look good. Like, came out well. Ooh, can... That was almost a nice Giga Drain punish, but you know what? And we're going to hit you on reaction. What? To... Okay. All right. Oh. Taking his bus frames. Five wide. Combo. A. Going oh. a little bit of a delay. It does its attack, and that is gonna really help for Wise because of that defense drop. And yeah, I forgot to drop down. You know for what? Second. I think he's actually gonna hop for a reset. No, he won't. He's gonna have a 21 hit limit. Yeah, I think that was a good idea actually because now, timer again. Yeah, it's going for timer. He's saying I meant to field phase. Ooh, Ooh, nice. Just jumped out of the way. If that Morgan hit, that would have taken it for Shadow Cap, but and again, Wise able to get out of the way. See that uh, you see that speed debuff coming into play. Shadow Cat not being able to approach one of the fastest characters. It's so hilarious. It's like, you know, you ever just watch Machamp and then he gets slow debuffed and he just looks like he's walking forward? It's the funniest thing to see. You do know I play Blastoise. Alright, let's let's not talk about it. But anyway, going right <laughs> back to the match. Shadow Cat. Getting hit out by that Giga Drain. Wise going in the driver's seat. Hitting out the vulnerable frames is wise. Yeah, now we're just two wide against each other and there's the detect. We're just jumping and seeing. Love to see it. Love to see it. And you know what? I love to see all this damage. We're gonna go into the corners. We're gonna set up. What's the setup? Chip. The standard set down setup. And we're jumping out of a corner. I really thought there was gonna be more than that. And then Giga Drain. He gets another one. Yo, he's like, hey, I got two in a row. But you know what? You got that last one. Let's try it again. Yeah, to all the robots that see. See, Giga Drain's reactable. Uh uh. <laughs> There's the JY in to confirm with the 5X, and that is going to do big damage. And yeah, why not just slow him down again? And again, another defense debuff setup. That's he set up the bullet seeds this time. Pop and burst. Ooh, again. Oh, that's going to punish. Very nice whiff punish. And gets a but hard has to go for the two. Has to go for the 2X to get the knockdown. That should not. Nope. But we're going to put on plus frames and back him up. 
And I do believe this will kill. Yep, that'll do it. And nice. Shadow Cat fire staying the, alive. Fire that Christmas tree tail right in his face. We are a month late. <laughs> Now, this is this is starting to become weird. It's like, okay, Shadow Cat is one of the, I would say definitely one of the best, if not the best uh, uh, Dark Knight there is. And I'm like, hold on, you're gonna you're gonna claim that spot for a subtile as well? Are you really about to do this? Hey, and before he goes to Grands and fights Juka, man, they do just Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's a match for if this is actually possible. Yeah, let's see if Shadow Cat can take it. He's and still got to win this game and another one, but we're just gonna get crap. all this movement. They're just practically just zooming across each other. It's like one so close to hitting, but then you know the other is just like, yo, you're not not me. Nah, I'm out of here. And that's Amoga is gonna punish Pendutro Y. And we're gonna go for a reset. More traps are being thrown. Everything and the game. Ooh, Perfect nice. blocking into the grab. And if for some of you that do not know. There is a certain gap to where if you do perfect block Sceptile's homing attack, you can grab it immediately. No punish coming after it. Yep. A lot of characters have that, but Sceptile is one of them, and unfortunately for... Oh, and that's going to be a great punish. Oh, that is going to hurt. All right, so right now, Wise, we need one game. He's, he's, he's in match point right now. This is going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, that is one more guess. One more guess, or we got to just get some traps and get some jump, and that is going to do it. The with Leaf punch. Blade yeah. with Punish. You love to see it. Wise moving on to Grand Finals against Mutator. No, he's actually moving on to fight. The Losers Finals. Yes, Losers, losers Finals. Losers Finals yes. against Taylor. I was half right. But you know and that was Shadow Cat getting third, as we mentioned. He got first at Frosty Frostings, but last year's Frostfire champion, yeah, he, he couldn't take down last year's champ.